Hey guys, it's Melody and welcome back to my channel. So I know I usually have like a white background, but I thought I'd make it a little fun today and different and use this little banana leaf backdrop that I got a few days ago. Or maybe it was like a week ago, maybe more than a week ago. I don't know, back then. But for today's video, I thought I would do something I've never done before on my channel, which is a first impressions video. On my birthday, a few weekends ago, I got a birthday present from my besties, Sharon and Annie, shout out. Uh, thank you guys for this gift, but it was the Huda Beauty palette. This is the Desert Dust palette and it's like gorgeous. Like just look at this packaging. Like, oh, it's so pretty. I've never gotten anything from Huda before. Is that how you pronounce it? Huda? Huda? I don't know. But I've never had anything before from this, and I haven't really heard much about it either. But look at this palette. Let me just, okay, let me open it for you. So it looks like this. And then when you, oh, by the way, don't look at my ratchet nails. I haven't done them since my birthday, so I really need to take it off. But anyways, this is what it looks like in the front. And then when you open it, let's see, it's like this. And it has a little mirror. Oh, can you see? There's a little mirror here. And this really cool, I don't even know what this is, but it's basically the same thing as the front. I like to keep it in there. And I love this big mirror. Like this is a huge mirror. Can you guys see? While well, you guys are like, meh, meh, meh. But yeah, this is so pretty. Like look at these colors. Like look at this. And there's like shimmery colors and matte colors. I love it. So I think I'm gonna swatch for you guys and then also do my eye, my eyebrows, I was gonna say my eyebrows, and do my eyeshadow while I'm explaining. So I did my face already, like I did my brows and my foundation and everything. So all that's left is my eyeshadow. And I don't know what I wanted to do today, but let's just swatch this first. I was really interested in this Cosmo color. It's like a shimmery, like with glitter. So I'm gonna put it on my face finger and see what it looks like. I'm kind of nervous. Oh wow. Actually, this is what it looks like. Can you see? When I first just rubbed my finger on it and a lot of it actually came off, but let's see how well it is on my hand. Okay. It looks like this. Can you tell? Which is actually really nice, but then I feel like if I rub it too much, like a lot of it will come off. Like you definitely need to like pat it or use like a spray or glue or something. But let me see. Yeah, if I rub it too much, it like there's a lot of excess that falls off. So I'm just gonna wipe it with my hand. Yeah, okay. Basically, if I just like wipe it with this paper towel, like everything comes off. You see that? Like literally there's nothing on here. So I would definitely suggest using like a spray or a glue whatever you guys have to keep it on. All right, let's try the matte colors. Let's try musk, cause it's just like a basic brown beige color. Here, let me show you first. This one, okay, it comes off okay. Ooh, I really like this color for like an everyday type of color. I don't know if you can see that, but can you see that right, hold on, right here. This one, okay, let me cover my hand. Well, I personally, like, my face is kind of dark, so, and my feet, my hands are kind of dark, so I don't know if you can see that, but I really like, 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 something very natural on my lids for every day. Like, that's normally what I go for, like, a tan to a brown, and I really like how this is, like, almost my skin color, but not really, so, I don't know, it just, I just like that looks like your skin tone color, but not your skin tone color. That's just my opinion, and what I like um, but yeah, I really like that color. Should I just swatch all of them? Let's just swatch all of them and then I'll do my eyes. And let's try Desert Sand, which is the lightest color that I would typically use for like my brow bone. It comes off really well on my finger. Ooh, that is pretty too. I like that. Wow, that is pretty. See that? Cream, light cream color. I love that. Let's move on to the next one. Eden, which is like this salmon color. This one, it's like the same texture as the rest of the matte colors. Um, this one looks like this right here. That one's really pretty too. I typically wouldn't use like a salmon color like this just because, probably because I'm not used to it, but 
I think I'm gonna try out this one. Uh, these colors are just really pretty. Okay, let's try amber, which is this. Do you guys even want to see? Like, wait, the next one is this one, and I'm just gonna go down like the rose. Like, I feel like their pigmentation is really good. Oh my gosh, that is super pigmented. Like, look how well that came out my hand with just like one like sweep like this. Like in this palette, they have the matte colors, as I said. And then they have like the shimmer colors, like the more shimmery glitter color. But Cosmo, which is the first one that I showed you guys, is like the most glitter. So let me just show you real quick like this. Like you see how these are mattes and then like this is the shimmery one, like this one. They're all the shimmery ones. And then this is like, bam, like that glitter color. Uh, okay, let's try the shimmery. Blood Moon is what this one is called. Okay, well, hmm. This one, these ones are not as like, boom, like, not as bright as, uh, what was it, Amber, the one before, but this is one sweep of Blood Moon. See right there, still really pretty, but I just thought it'd be more pigmented maybe. The next one, O-U-D, no idea what that means, you guys. Okay, I love the matte colors. Like, they come off so well. Where should I put this? <laughs> boom. I really like that. Okay, the next shimmery color is Celestial, which is like a golden orange pink. Or let's call it that. I wish, see again, how it's kind of shimmery, but not really. They're okay. Let's try the next one. Nefertiti, whatever that means. Ooh, okay. Maybe this one will be better. Ooh, I like that one. That one is pretty. Nefertiti. Let's see right here. This one's more of a gold yellow tone. Super, super pretty. Okay, next is Twilight, which is a purple, the purpley shimmery color. It reminds me of like a unicorn. This would have been so pretty for Halloween. Too bad that was like two days ago. <laughs> Looks like that. It has like a blue tone with it, with the shimmer. I like it. Still wish it was more, um, brighter. Ooh, I feel like this next one, am this, which is this bright purple color. This one's gonna pop like crazy. Okay, I thought it would pop more, but it's still pretty good. This one, royal. Ooh, actually, wow. This one is like the next, the other shimmery one, but this one I feel like has way more pigment. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm so surprised with this one. What the heck? Oh, look at that. Can you see? Yeah. Look at this one compared to like these ones. Like this one's so much like darker, not darker, just more pigmented maybe than these. Like these are kind of like clear. Oh, what would you say? Clear slash, oh, I can't think of the word. If I think of it, I'll let you guys know, but wow, that one is gorgeous. That one's royal. Okay, now let's try retrograde. Yeah, this one didn't come out like that crazy either. Let's put it on top. Yeah, you can barely see this one, which is kind of disappointing, but it's kind of like a silver purple. Yeah, you can barely see, uh, where is it? Right here. You see that? Like on top right here? Barely see it. Okay, cashmere. Ooh, I like the pigmentation on this one, or it feels like it. That is kind of better. Right here. This one's called Cashmere's and it's more like a brownish tan, like a beige shimmer. And I knew the word that I was looking for is sheer. So all the like shimmery ones are more sheer than the matte ones, except for this. This one's like, bam. Let's try Angelic. Ooh, this is a pretty pink color. Ooh, this one feels good too. Oh my, yes. That one. I like that one. This pink color, not as sheer as these, which I like. Let's try Turkish Delight. Ooh, I like this one too. This one's like a hot pink. Oh my gosh, do you see that? That one is bomb. Oh yeah, that one is good. And then Saffron, which is a reddish. Yeah, basically it's red. Let's put it right here. Oh yeah, look at that. That one's, all the mattes are super pigmented. Like it comes off great. And then let's try blazing, which is an orange. Ooh, do you see that? 
they're all very pigmented. They just come on like my finger so well and slide on so well. The only ones are um, like, for example, the only one is Blood Moon, Twilight, uh, Celestial, and Retrograde. Those ones are very sheer glitter, which is not bad either, but I would have thought it would be like something like super like bam in your face, um, come off very well. But overall, this palette is so pretty. I think my favorite one though would probably have to be uh, Royal. Like you can feel it. Like when you, I don't know, when you touch it, you can just feel how nice it feels. I don't know, all of these, I don't know how to explain it. The eyeshadow just feels nice. But let's try it on my face. I'm gonna have to wash this. I feel like I'm in Sephora or something. <laughs> so I'm gonna use that Royal that I really like. We'll figure it out as I go. So I'm gonna start out with Eden as my base color and see what happens. Eden is this color. So let's just go for it. Ooh, this comes off very well. You gotta tap off the excess. So I'm using this as a base color. Typically I'd probably use like a tan, but why not today? And then let's go with M. Amethyst, Amethyst, which is, which is this color. This purple color that I really like. It's like super pigmented. And I'm gonna put that on my crease. And then a little bit on the outer V, or I'm gonna make an outer V. And I'm not like packing it on just because I didn't really want to. But if you do, then definitely, you can definitely pack it on. Okay, and then I'm gonna try that royal color like to darken my crease, which is the really pretty shimmery um, purple color. This one, that's my favorite, I think, of this whole palette. I just think it goes so well, or it went on so well on my hand. So let's see how it does. To darken my B. Also on the outer lid. So while I'm at, I'm at that, let's put it on the bottom. Okay, and before I forget, we're gonna take desert sand and highlight your brow bone. Okay, and then I'm gonna go with Nefertiti, which is this color, this goldish shimmer, and put that on my lid. And I feel like with these colors, you if you use a spray to keep it on, it'll be very pretty and it'll stay on perfectly. But since I don't have that and too lazy to go get it right now, this will do. I'm gonna put it on the inner lid, or inner eye, lower lash line, what am I saying? I love the pigmentation on this, on these colors. This is like one of the only few shimmers that work. And I'm gonna blend it out, so. Let's just blend it without anything. Going back with Royal. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do my eyeliner and put on some mascara and lashes and then I think we'll be done. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I just put on some lashes. I did a little lipstick and this one is, it's the ColourPop, ColourPop Lipstick in Trap and I love this color. So if you guys like this, definitely check that out. But here is the finished look. While I was doing my uh, lipstick and my eyeshadow, I realized that if you use like an eye primer, oh my gosh, this palette is gonna be gorgeous. Like if you put a primer on, I didn't have primer, so I didn't do it, but oh my God, if the primer was on, these colors would be crazy, like so pretty on your eyes. So I think I'm gonna, I gotta pick up one of those very soon so that I can do that. And then I'll make another video 
on this Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty, and show you guys. But wow, yeah, this palette is so pretty. The Desert Dust Palette. So if you guys ever want to get this, I would definitely recommend because these colors are all very like beautiful. Oh, they're so pretty. I can't stop looking at it. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions video. I haven't seen much on Huda Beauty, so I'm hoping that this video helps you guys out. And again, shout out. Thank you, Sharon and Annie, for getting me this for my birthday. You guys are the best. But I will keep using this for like every day or every so often and see how it is. And I'll let you guys know in my next video on this. I guess that is it. I hope you guys like this look, by the way. It was super fast. Sorry, I'm kind of in a rush. So that's why I didn't really use a primer or anything. Oh, and if you guys do like this, these type of first impressions videos, then definitely let me know because I would love to do it for you. I typically, whenever I go buy makeup, I'll just use it like right when I get it and I won't really stop and make a video for it. But if you guys like it, then I will try to keep myself from using it and let you guys know the first impression like on camera. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.